y'all it's heel heat time hi everybody and welcome to heel heat my name is george coles and this is our ring of honor show for the week now the theme of the ring of honor show was the golden gauntlet basically an hour-long gauntlet match with the winner becoming the number one contender for the ring of honor world heavyweight championship first up we get bj whitmer versus caprice coleman very solid way to open it up. Uh, a lot of people think of Caprice Coleman kind of as uh, the partner of Cedric Alexander and nothing more, but an extremely talented wrestler. Worked very well with B.J. Whitmer, who, whose style actually meshes very well with a bunch of different wrestlers. And I think it was just a, a great way to start off the gauntlet. You have the big, basically more known for his rough style versus a guy that's more known for his aerial maneuvers in Coleman. Uh, Whitmer picks up the win, sets up his next opponent, which would be Matt Taven. Taven comes out. Has, Taven's, they're, I guess they're building him back up after him losing the TV title. Uh, he's been kind of stagnant as of late. He's been stuck in neutral in a feud with uh, Truth Martini and Jay Lethal. Him entering this, he beats BJ Whitmer right off. And then we see the next, next comes out is the Romantic Touch, which if you remember a few weeks ago, Matt Taven wore the Romantic Touch mask in a match against Jay Lethal and then unmasked as, as him. So in the beginning there was funny moments where they kind of did a mirror thing with each other and then shook hands, and then hugged each other, and from the hug, the romantic touch attacked. And then Taven said, I'm never going to hug you again. But then they did again, and romantic touch put him in a side headlock. Just a good, interesting, and a, a little cool way to involve a little bit of comedy into this, and bring in a little bit of levity into what you're asking your fans to sit there, and I don't know how long it went on on the TV taping, but you're asking your fans to sit through an hour-long match, basically, non-stop. You're adding a little bit of levity in the middle, a little bit of comedy, to break up the monotony of just move after move after move. Taven obviously beats a romantic touch. We get the familiar music of Jay Lethal, who comes out with, of course, Truth Martini, as we know, Taven and Lethal are in a feud. Like I said, they're kind of stuck in neutral with that right now. Decent back and forth match. Nothing we haven't seen from them before. Lethal picks up the win when head of Ring of Honor security, Jay Diesel, who we've seen a few times being paid off by Truth Martini, interjects and costs Matt Taven the match. Which brings us to the final portion of the Golden Gauntlet. Jay Lethal versus Cedric Alexander. This to me, folks, we're seeing the evolution of Cedric Alexander, tag team guy, Ring of Honor guy, to Cedric Alexander, Ring of Honor main eventer, Ring of Honor future world champion. Now, there are some of us, myself included, that follow Cedric Alexander's career in and out of Ring of Honor and other places he goes, the guy is an immensely talented wrestler. It is only a matter of time, and Cedric picks up the win over Jay Lethal, by the way, before I go on my Cedric Alexander soliloquy. There is only a matter of time before Cedric Alexander becomes a Ring of Honor world champion. And then it is only a matter of time from there before Cedric Alexander goes to NXT. And then from there, it's only a matter of time before he's on the main roster, WWE champion. 
that's how good this kid is. That's how much talent Cedric Alexander has. This is going to be a guy that in the next five years, you're going to see headlining big-time pay-per-views. You're going to see Cedric Alexander breaking through in a major way. Now, in Ring of Honor, I've had, you know, I've had conversations with friends of mine. I believe that by the time we get to Final Battle, which is about four months away, you're going to see Cedric Alexander versus Michael Elgin in a competitive match. Now, this first time he's going to go up against Michael Elgin, it'll be a good match, it'll go a while, Elgin will win. It's way too early in Elgin's run to take the title off of him without seeing what he can do. I'm sorry, it's just a fact. Whether you like Michael Elgin or not, he deserves to have at least a shot to have a good run with the Ring of Honor world title. Now you're going to build from that. By the time we get to final battle, Cedric Alexander is going to be a serious contender. And at that point, Michael Elgin will have been champion for six months, which we'll know can Michael Elgin continue to carry the belt as the world champion, or do we need to switch gears and give it to somebody else to carry the company? At that point, Cedric Alexander will be ready. Now, whether they give it to him or not is a different story. No knock on Cedric Alexander if he doesn't make it there. Michael Elgin, if he has a phenomenal run as world champion, of course Cedric Alexander's run is going to be pushed back. And who knows what happens between now and then? Who knows who comes and goes in Ring of Honor? Who does what? Who catches on with the fans? There could be someone that catches lightning in a bottle in Ring of Honor and shoots right up the card before anybody else. But in my honest opinion, if one year from now, I record a, when I record a Ring of Honor show one year from now, Cedric Alexander will either be the current world champion or the former world champion. And he's just that good. And I, I enjoy the fact that they're giving him this exposure. And I'm sorry, I didn't mean to turn this into a, a Cedric Alexander love fest. I just really think the, the wrestler is that good of a talent. But coming off of that, we'll go right into our ratings for the week. Now, if you've seen our show before, you know we have a 1 to 5 scale. 1 being the worst, 5 being the best. I want to give this show a 5 all the way through. I enjoyed the concept of the Golden Gauntlet. I enjoyed what they did. I enjoyed B.J. Whitmer having a, having a solid run. I enjoyed Matt Taven coming out looking like a star, having... You know, basically wrestled three matches during it. I enjoyed the comedy interjection with Romantic Touch. And I especially enjoy, enjoyed the fact that we have Cedric Alexander raising the ranks. Just the overall solid show, fun show, this is what Ring of Honor should be about. But basically that's all I have to say about that. My name is George Coles and this has been another episode of Heel Heat.